it is completely dark outside so let's take a look again guys so these are the powered lanterns and if i will hit this switch they will work or they won't that's nice and if i will go outside we can oh shoot 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 i i completely forget <laughs> about the stupid wires again like Hello guys, I'm Sermon the Bears and this is uh, Minecraft Let's Play episode number 19. So this is the room where I will work with radioactive materials and this is my base. And I'm sure absolutely that you saw my base several times already. But I do have some new things in my base. In the last episode I did build this small solar panel array. So it makes a nice amount of power at least during the day and during the night uh, my base is running from a battery which is good and i do have some other things as well so this is the excavator which i showed you last time and when i will run it it will mine mostly lapis and i do have a my chem drawer to right here so it basically it burns down the, the mod, uh, mobs not the mods so let's go inside my base like uh, now you can see guys that this conveyor is taking these lapis and all the resources from the excavator into my base let's go inside my base and i will show you what's new so let's go into my basement so here we go and we do have my basement here i was uh, a little bit mining with uh, my drill and i do have some kind of uh, issues with the crusher from immersive en engineering and i am basically forced to use this enhanced sag mill otherwise i would have a multi-block structure which is called crusher which looks absolutely awesome and it is very noisy so this is the addition in my base so Conveyors, more conveyors, sag mill, and everything goes into this chest, and then it goes inside my storage system. I know, guys, I don't need to do it this way, but I just do like the conveyors a lot, I guess. Oh, I almost did fall. It is always a little bit harder to get through that opening in the floor. So this is it guys. Oh, oh shoot 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 shoot. I completely forget. I can't fly from my base because I do have electric cables over here. So right, I need to eat some food and I will try to explain what it is. So I do have these poles here with the lights and I'm using non insulated cable so basically if i will touch that cable it will shock me or it will hurt me so i i'm still trying to use to it so i should remember that i can't fly from this place in front of my base because i will touch the the wires and of course guys if you see any wires on the ground when you are somewhere outside never ever touch any wires so this is what i have so far and this is the refinery and uh, ne next plan is uh, i need to build a, a little bit of floor over here because i do like my floors or ceilings to be three blocks thick the floor should be easy to make but what i'm not very happy about i need to move everything from here because this would be stuck in the floor and the, the refinery as well so i have to move everything but not yet because i need to think what kind of a floor uh, i will use for my base or maybe ceiling and now i want to show you guys something else in my base so this is the switch for the lights outside take a look guys 
Yeah. And it has a really funny sound effect. So I will show you the lights or the lamps or the lanterns. Yeah, I think they are lanterns. I, I will show you the lanterns a little bit later when it will be dark outside. It is completely dark outside, so let's take a look again, guys. So these are the powered lanterns. And if I will hit this switch, they will work or they won't. That's nice. And if I will go outside, we can... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I, I completely forget <laughs> about the stupid wires again. Like, right. So I need to, I need to work on it. So these are the powered lanterns, guys, outside my base. And I, I like it. I know I don't need to do something like this, but I do like it a lot. I know I could use uh, some kind of a uh, lamp blocks or some maybe torches, but I would say this is a little bit nicer, guys. So that's the only reason why I'm using it. And next thing what I learned uh, when I was trying to make that cables that if you want to connect this wire connector with this wire connector and if you want to go go the cable basically you know, through the through the wall you will place these wire connectors like this and then you will hit them with a hammer like this one engineer's hammer and now you have uh, blocks which are connected through this block like uh, basically the wire can go through the wall which is absolutely awesome because i was thinking how can I connect the wires through the walls? Like, I don't like the holes in my base, or I wouldn't like the holes in my base, which would have the, the wires getting through. But this is how to do it, and I did it over here, guys. So you can see the connectors. And this line, this uh, medium voltage wire connector is uh, feeding that uh, power cell tube over there and this guy over here is feeding just the powered lantern so if we go outside we can take a look and we can see the energy cell is completely charged and i'm just a little bit curious right now why this chem rover turret is not working so please uh, Skeleton, stop shooting me, alright? Because if I will figure out how to tune it again, I am going to make a barbecue. Skeleton barbecue, of course. So, I think there, there, there are some arrows. Yes, so now I can use my bow. Because this skeleton is very cheeky. He's shooting me with the arrows, and that's exactly what I don't like. And you could hear the laser turret, which is hidden inside block over here. So let's go around my base. Oh, there is a bliss. All right, so I'm going to capture it into this reusable morb, which is basically like a, oh 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 oh. This is bad. So if you know what is the, the pokeball, so this is it, guys. All right. I'm just capturing the mobs, I'm not going to kill them and I will just process them in a machine and I will get the resource C. Oh, there is another bliss shooting after me. I'm going to capture it, hopefully I do have space in my inventory, I do. Let's capture it. So Mr. Bliss, you are going with me. Yep, you are going with me for sure and the zombie. So, oh, there is a skeleton. And I think there is one more bliss behind me. Oh, oh. All right, I have them. I'm going to capture the skeleton. So let's try it from here. And the skeleton is captured as well. So let's go back to my base. And I think I should find some wood in my base because I am low on health. And if something wrong, wrong happens, I will lose all my levels and that's not what I want to do. Let's go back. I will process the morbs. Let's do it in this machine. 
by the way the the name of the machine is so uh, centrifugal separator so we can see what is happening inside the centrifugal uh, separator and these are the resources which i'm getting from the mobs i'm getting the the mobs back so i can use them all the time because i'm not losing them Th there is a version of reusable mobs and one shoot or one shot uh, morp so basically you will throw it you will capture the mob and then you will lose the, the mob so that's the reason why i'm using these reusable morps because i will get them back all the time let's take a look what is around here right so i'm getting free oil and this is my basically unlimited source of you also let's take some and maybe i need to refill the unloader but the locomotive unloader which is filling the locomotive always with the fuel because i'm not getting or i'm not going for more oil so i do have my train parked right here so which is good i guess oh shoot <laughs> that's exactly what i didn't want to do and Maybe, maybe I can store these rosins in this carriage, right? Yes, I can. So then, then I will have uh, resources with me all the time. And if the locomotive will run out of uh, the fuel, so then I don't need to go back to my base and back because i will have the fuel inside the locomotive and if i remember right or should i took the lapis from the conveyor belt if i do remember right long long time a long time ago when i was using a uh, railcraft uh, trains or, or railcraft or rock locomotives i had always some tank cards with stored steam in them so I was using them as a like a backup uh, power source for my locomotive, but I'm not sure if the if it works anymore. So guys, this is the the base like uh, the the base extension. Maybe I didn't show you uh, my ender chest. I finally have an ender chest. So if I want to store something in my base, I will just open my ender pouch and it goes basically directly to my base like uh, to, to my storage and i do have some extra emmy drives for storing more materials in this basement will be somewhere here oh shoot i need to make more emmy storage cards or i can get rid of something so let's try to eat this food can i eat it i can all right <laughs> bowl so i think i need to get rid of some things because i th the, the storage cell doesn't have any more space for so more things oh shoot that's not very good so how can i solve this problem so let's go upstairs and maybe i do have some resources in my base which i don't need what about this guy no need this guy oh wither skeleton skull that reminds me that i would like to heal wither skeleton so oh i do have the the boots but what can i recycle in my recycler oh shoot this is this is not good purified crushed lead or perfect if it is purified i can place it into the thermal centrifuge and it will give me a little bit more storage i guess so let's try to find something else what i can oh and emerald stone all right portable generators okay i i can take these portable generators out of my base and or of my storage and oh shoot i do have the end zaphir ore as well and nether aluminium right 
So I think I need to process that material. So let's try to process it in uh, this uh, induction smelter. Oh, I can't. Maybe I can grind it down. Can I grind it down? What? I can't? No way. How can I process this? And ruby ore. So let's take a look uh, in the recipes. So and ruby ore. Okay. So what can we do with it? Venting machine. No crusher. All right. Pulverizer. If we can pulverize it. And what the hell is tectonic petroteum? Okay. So I need. Pulverizer and I do have the pulverizer somewhere in my base, but I need to find it. Oh, this is the pulverizer. Do I have only one pulverizer? That's not possible. I should have more. Mm, yeah, it looks like I do have only one pulverizer. So let's try to pulverize materials in pulverizer. So what? Oh, Zephyr. For project red that's not bad well, let's take a look zip fire or project red okay so that's electric screwdriver and i can what okay so electric screwdriver and this is a ruby okay so what can i do with the ruby Let's take a look. Oh, lapidary calibration. What the hell? Oh, so I can turn it into a energy. So I think I will need a a pulverizer somewhere because I don't I don't want to may I don't want to process it in this pulverizer pulverizer manually all the time. So I think maybe I will build a one dedicated pulverizer somewhere so let's place everything inside my storage so i will park these generators here and let's see if i do have space in my base oh shoot i should take these uh, fluids from these tanks and then i think i can i will have a little bit more space oh yeah this is a little bit buggy but it works so let's place it inside my storage so this is a strong box this is strong box this is signal all right cauldron what the hell i was doing with cauldron i have no idea guys i think i think i need to create another for a 64k storage so let's take a look if i do have the, the resources for it no i need four calculation processors i think i can make the processor out of uh, this guy and in this machine if i remember right yes i do perfect so most of the time i'm short uh, of uh, printed calculation serve cuts but I think I should automate this process because I don't like to do it manually. Like the automation of this is very easy and I should do it like a long time ago, guys. So what do we have here? All right, we have some mobs. Okay, I will take them with me. We have some raw beef, redstone and... Oh, this is a energy cube or energy cell. So I will... I will recharge it here and I should turn off the excavator I guess because if I am not here it will excavate and that's not what I want I would like to use the excavator only when I am here so when I'm online like I'm playing on a server so when I'm online then I want to do it like not manually on my own but i want to excavate only when i am here and i was thinking that uh, maybe if i will do some prospecting around my base then i can set probably another train which will go to 
another excavator which i don't have yet but i can make one and i will have one train uh, collecting or harvesting the oil and the other train would bring the resources from the excavator because excavators they can run not forever but they can run very for very long time for a very long period of time and yeah maybe that's how i can do it but before i can make some kind of a extension to my train yard i think i would need to rework this uh very basic station because two trains man manage two trains on my own i didn't want to do it maybe a computer can do it for me so let's try to make uh, another 64k storage cell oh yes i do have the resource well, so let's let's try it so everything is crafting like uh, the, the storage system is crafting everything what it needs to craft is a uh, 64 storage component i think another one like the, the bigger one is 256 i think yeah 256 storage cell but oh i will need 364k storage components and i i do have barely resources for one so I think I'm going to store I, I'm I will be happy with this before K M storage uh cars because I can't afford this big one and it will take probably all my resources. So we can see this this guy like crystal growth chamber over here and it is growing the chamber. Like uh, if you want to do it manually then it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy and a pay a lot of patience as well because you need to wait so let's see all right so we do have 64k uh, storage cell so let's install it into the storage system so it's empty there is nothing stored on this card so let's go back and i will install it somewhere here boom and now we do have bigger storage and of course i was uh, thinking about to making like a dedicated room for these emmy drives like a, some, some something like a central server room but i'm not sure or i am sure that i'm not going to do it in this episode because it will take a lot of time a lot of planning crazy amount of resources which i don't have so i need to get the resources first and then i then i can do it independent content providers like we don't get paid for doing this we spend our time creating videos to help the gaming community spread ideas and share what passes for wisdom and experience if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and even subscribing to this channel this helps the channel to grow and reach more people it's just a couple of clicks but it lets me know that you found some value in the time i dedicate to making these videos and big thank to all my subscribers, you are a tremendously helpful community and it's your engagement that keeps me doing this. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next one. This is the way.